topic of this video is identifying the turning points of a polynomial function. The points at which a graph changes direction are called turning points. Each turning point is either a local maximum or a local minimum. Let's be specific when we say changes direction. I want you to imagine a function and you're traveling along that function from left to right. You are now on a part of the function that is increasing, approaching the top of a hill. At the very top of the hill, you will stop increasing and begin decreasing. This is a turning point. You are turning from going up to going down. That point is also a maximum of your function. Now, as you continue your journey, imagine you are going down and approaching the bottom of a valley. You're going to go from decreasing to then increasing again. This is also a turning point, which is also a minimum. Turning points are maxima and minima. There is a relationship between turning points and the degree of a polynomial. Let's learn this theorem. If f is a polynomial of degree n, then the graph of f has at most n minus 1 turning points. If the graph of a polynomial function f has n minus 1 turning points, then the degree of f is at least n. Based on the first part of the theorem, a polynomial function of degree 5 will have at most 5 minus 1, which is 4 turning points. It could have 3 or 2 or 1 or 0, but the most it could have would be 4. Based on the second part of the theorem, if the graph of a polynomial function has 3 turning points, then the degree of the function must be at least 4. It could be degree 4 or 5 or 6 or 7 or more, but it must be at least 